Hello, right back again for another test. Um, today I'm doing the second of the two pastes that Volker in Berlin sent over to me. Um, this is the La Latina Pasta di Aji Pancha or Aji Panca or Aji Panca. I really don't know how it's pronounced. I know Aji should be pronounced Aji, uh, but over in the UK, quite a few people call them Aji. Um, but yeah, forgive me if I slip back to saying Aji because that's kind of what I normally normally call it. But yeah, this is Aji Panca or Pancha paste. Um, should be really cool. The Rokoto paste I tried the other day was really nice, really unusual, uh, real kind of strange burn characteristic and it kept coming in waves and disappearing again and building back up again. Uh, but yeah, this is the Aji Panka. This is a dried pod. Um, Volker kindly sent me over these along with some other Aji varieties to try. Uh, but yeah, this is the Aji Panka. So as you can see, quite, quite big sort of pods. That's the biggest one, but yeah, awesome looking things. Here are the seeds in there. Yeah, might give them a little nibble a minute after I tried the paste, but I'm going to crack into the paste first and see what we got. Ooh. Security seal on there. Gone. Hmm. Right. Okay, so it's quite a dark. Uh, reddish brown sort of colour which to be honest perfectly matches the dry pods I know the lights not brilliant in here I really struggle with the light in the evenings um, but yeah it's actually it's identical in colour to the dried pod Ooh. yeah the smell is um, it's really aromatic it's um, a bit dark, uh, touch smoky, um, but kind of, it's almost got a slight fruity kind of smell coming through, but mainly it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's earthy and smoky in flavour. It, I mean, these pods haven't been smoked, so don't get me wrong, it's not like the smell of a chipotle or something like that. It's a lot more subtle than that. So, anyway, I'm going to... Um, dig in and give it a crack okay so nice big heat heaped spoon of it um, no idea how hot these things are so there's one way to find out mm. Oh, it took quite a bit of swallowing. It's a big mouthful of paste. Um, yeah, like the ricotto one. It's um, quite well seasoned with salt. Um, to eat on its own, it's actually quite salty. Um, but I think if you mixed it in with dishes, you know, you'd you would lose that salty flavour, and it would just add a nice bit of seasoning. Uh, it's not quite as hot straight up as the ricotto paste is um, just kind of giving a bit of a glow in and around the mouth um, on the long, like the sides of the tongue burning a little bit um, yeah, I can feel I can just about feel it in the throat as well but a really really gentle gentle kind of burn in the throat um, yeah it's actually it's really quite nice uh, again, it's not designed to eat kind of as a sauce on its own or on the side of something. It's designed for cooking, um, but that would kind of impart a really nice flavour. Um, you know, if you're cooking kind of Mexican style food, um, I think uh, Volker suggested you know you can use it in moles. You know, like um, classic Mexican cooking. Really, um, you could put it in other Mexican dishes. Uh, put it into fajitas, 
burritos, you know, and anything where you want to add a nice, rich. I'm not going to say overly smoky flavour, but it's quite hard to describe, really. Um, definitely not as hot as the ricotto one. I mean, the ricotto paste actually gave me hiccups and actually gave quite a good solid burn in the mouth. This is nowhere near as hot as that. Um, yeah. Mmm. It's quite unusual, very, very unusual, and I can't describe the taste to be quite honest. Um, I'll try and have a think about what the taste was like and try add, try adding it into the notes in the video. But as you can see, heat wise, no, it's not really very hot at all. Um, I'm going to say it's sort of a similar heat, maybe, to eating a fresh jalapeno or something like that. It's not not really that hot. Um, I would like to try it with less salt in so you can get the better flavour of the actual pod. Um, the salty flavour kind of takes over quite a bit with that uh, but it's still it's very good for a cooking ingredient I have to say it's got a very unusual flavour. This is the um, uh, he pod. Those are seeds in there which I'm going to get rid of and um, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, it's just hit the stomach. Mmm, mmm. Now, without salt, it changes the profile of the flavour completely. That is actually fairly sweet um, sweet but little smoky notes coming through and actually yeah that's really picking the heat up around the mouth oh apart from the fact that the texture isn't that great because it's dried the flavor is stunning mm. it's almost like eating like a dried fruit or a dried berry it's absolutely delicious um, yeah that's really nice um, certainly going to use these for cooking rehydrate them and um, blitz them up into a, a freshly made paste maybe um, yeah that's really nice and that's picked up the heat now right across the tongue um, yeah, it's mainly in the mouth and on the tongue. It's not really back in the throat or anything. Making the nose run a little bit. Um, certainly got a lot more heat in them than the dried paste does. Dried paste. The paste. Getting mixed up between dried and <laughs> not dried. Yeah. That's absolutely delicious. I could just sit and chew on that. That's a bit of a snack, really, um, in place of eating some dried fruit or something. That's delicious, and um, yeah, a respectable amount of heat as well. So, awesome. Right. Not a lot else is going to happen, you know, we're not talking soup hots here or anything. So that's just going to kind of linger on the tongue and give the mouth a nice glow for a little while, I should have thought. But yeah, awesome stuff. So huge thanks to Volker again for sending over this one and the ricotto paste and the dried pods awesome mate I really like them they are delicious uh, that's one of the nicest dry pods I've eaten I uh, like that so yeah ideal right thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you again very soon yeah.